Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Most of you guys probably know the Virus TI synthesizer, which is right behind my back, a holy grail in all electronic music scene. Let's have a closer look at it. This is a virtual analog synthesizer made by German company Axis Music. Virus TI synthesizer was released including the 61 key Virus TI keyboard, the 37 key Virus TI Polar, small virus snow unit, and the desktop version that you can see in my studio. There is a special preset here in the format complex section called Sandial 1 and 2. So even though it sounds great, this sound in my humble opinion was overdosed in so many Citrus tracks that I have personally never used it in any of my projects. So today I would like to show you an alternative but similar format sound using Harmer. It doesn't sound the same, but good as well. Let me just show you how I do it. <clears throat> All right, guys, so here we are. And as usual, I would like you to listen to the sequence that I prepared specially for this tutorial. So let's have a listen to it. <laughs> Let's open up the Harmer and choose the default preset, which is a basic saw wave. And here in the pitch section, uh, there is this switch knob that we can change to the octave mode or the hertz mode. So hertz mode is like a basic uh, type of spacing of the harmonics. So the spacing of the harmonics in hertz mode is linear. Now when you switch it to the octave, so the gap between harmonics in octave mode is logarithmic. Now this creates uh, our sound uh, sounds like artificial, it's not really harmonic, rather noisy, but this is what we want now. So let's go to the phaser and uh, activate it. Uh, the speed knob turned to zero, so the phaser is static. Go to the harmonic mode. And now go to the custom shape and create this tiny phaser shape. So now we have like a very uh, tiny phaser. Uh, and when we move the offset uh, knob, So we have this very robotic cosmic texture, which is very useful in Citrance music. Okay, um, the harmonic uh, mode in a phaser actually sounds a little bit like a pulse with modulation oscillator or an FM type of sound. But here in the octave mode, it creates this kind of a alien um, artificial metallic texture which is very very nice and now move the position of the width knob so again the, the texture is very very citrus like okay um let's uh, go to the fx section and activate the basic uh, delay so i will set a very small uh, wet signal and a little bit more 
feedback. Okay, let's now put uh, our sound on the mixer channel. And I have on the mixer channel the basic EQ filtered a little bit uh, higher frequencies, the low frequencies. Sorry. Let's put it in the detached mode. As you can see, the, the higher frequency in this uh, mode are very strong. That's why I did this uh, filter here. Okay, so this is it about the EQ. And now I will uh, I have applied small compression. So our sound is a little bit more uniformed, I would say. All right. So basically the sound is ready, but uh, let's go to the key function. And the key function is going to the pitch envelope mode, or maybe the LFO mode. Activate the tempo and the global uh, function and make it a square type of LFO with its lowest amount. What it does... It does something like this. So what do you guys think? I think this sound is very, very nice. Um, it sounds robotic. It sounds like a computer bleeps or something like this. And basically the sound is ready to go. But I will apply a little bit of a volume modulation to it. So I'm going to activate uh, the global and tempo function. And I will choose the preset like a basic ARP. And I will do something like this to change it a little bit. Okay. I will also go to the phaser offset the envelope function and I will draw some type of a sample and hold modulation that I always do. Um, Maybe something like this. And as usual, when we have created a, a function for a length of a whole bar, I'm going to loop it. So uh, each time the bar is finished, the whole sequence is being repeated. But I'm going to send set the speed of the phaser for some unregular um, amount. So now our sound is changing a little bit in time. You can go back to the phaser shape and make it even more tiny by changing the slope of the uh, of this automation. So the sound is a little bit more subtle now. All right, basically the sound is ready. Let's just put it in the... in the G-sharp note for the length of the whole bar and put it in the playlist. Okay. Let's have a listen to the whole sequence now.
Okay guys, so that's it. This is my way of replacing this overdosed Sandiel preset from Virus. I suggest to stay creative, stay unique and create your own sounds from scratch because this will provide you a unique style. So that's it for today guys, I hope you liked this tutorial, have a good day, peace!